Welcome back, everybody. It's Jochen Haydn, and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Haydn campaign. This is Scenario 2, and I'm playing Japan, and it is February 7th, 1942. All right, so we got some base swaps here. Cans in Australia and a base in the Dutch East Indies for us. I really expected Australia to flip this turn anyway, or Cairns, 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 however you people pronounce it. Uh. All right, let's see if we can, well, I was going to say, let's see if we can damage some subs here, but we're using Type 95 dev charges, so that ain't going to happen. I needed to evacuate Tana because it was just crawling with, um, crawling with subs as you can see and we're already dealing with them right now okay you saw a sub over there in the Bay of Biscay or Bay of Biscay no, Bay of Bengal near Calcutta Biscay I think it's in Europe near what in your Spain huh Okay, so we have a fast transport task force landing on Wallace Island. Again, I'm just doing a land grab here. I want to secure everything around Fiji. And as you can see, we're just hitting these bases. And another one. This one might be a little unnecessary, but hey, why not? There he is. So what is that? Four or five bases we just landed on. Okay. No, it doesn't look like there's any further naval activity this turn. Or a surface anyway. Perhaps. All right. Nice. Hopefully we're actually damaging this thing. Destroyed by flak. Come on. Good. Oh, great. Yeah. Canceled mission at Clonkery. That's exactly what I did not need today. A lot of canceled missions already. I have the worst luck with aircraft in this game. Oh, here we go. I was expecting this. Looks like we have some sort of sweep coming in. I guess it's from Hyderabad. Uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. I have no idea. He's got P-38s here. This could be ugly. Yeah, it's coming out of Hyderabad. Um. Hmm. Not great, but not the worst thing ever. So it looks like it was, from what I'm seeing here, it's kind of an even trade. We'll see how many more sweeps come in here. I have more aircraft than he does right now, I think, or I can get more there. Bombing raid on Tajilat Jap. All right, he's wow. He swept us in India, but I knew he. I, I had a feeling that he would. Okay, so bombing here because we're attacking this turn. All right, and then I got some Bettys coming in here to keep the runway suppressed, which we do. All right, hopefully we don't have a lot of flak here. I'm bombing these troops here in India to slow them down so my tanks can engage. Okay, oh, there's those AA regiments, that, the AA regiment that I was worried about. It does appear this time, though, that the flak doesn't hurt us too bad. We do hit them, which will knock them out of move mode if they're in move mode, which hopefully gives my armor a chance to attack.
35th Chinese Corps. Okay. And a bombing raid on um, Lu Chao here. Just trying to extract some supply hits. That's what I all I care about right now, really. Okay. Sally's coming in from Singapore to hopefully put an end to these Dutch troops in Borneo once and for all. If we see that little symbol here disappear, then we know that we got them all. Hmm. I don't think we did. Bad weather. Stragglers coming in for Luchao. Okay, and, a, and if we we're going in for another uh, raid on Baton, and once again we're getting supply hits here, which we don't get in Clark, or to the same extent anyway. Oh man, another raid guys. You know, this is okay. I don't mind this too much because I can get a lot more aircraft here. So let's do it. Let's see how this one goes. Not, not that great. Yeah, we're actually getting worn down here pretty good. Uh, let's see, here's coming in. What altitude is it coming in at? 20,000 feet and we're way lower. Yikes. Yeah, that's getting kind of ugly there, guys. Yeah, I think we're basically getting whittled down here. Dang, we lost a lot of zeros today. Look at that. Man. That's okay, I got more. What I don't have are the pilots. Whoa, what is that? Oh, okay, it's probably just subs. Okay, I thought he had surface ships at Tana or something. Uh, yeah, those are subs. Oh, canceled missions, you don't say. Going for some bombing raids on Changsha. It should be good today because uh, clear skies. Yeah, good. Nice. Supply hits, man. That's what I want. And these are big supply hits because these are all basically 250 kilogram bombs. So these are what's hitting. That does a lot of damage or takes supply away at a pretty decent amount.
All right. Well, I would say this is a pretty ugly day in the air for us overall with the uh, aircraft that we had shot down in India. But uh, the nice thing is I've got plenty more coming in behind those. So we should be able to be okay short term. So we go right into land combat. Let's see how that goes. Okay. It looks like we're going to get our shock attack off, guys. I think we may have a good chance of finishing these guys for good. Oh my god, they get away again! I can't believe they get away again. Well, I am having the hardest time finishing off these allied troops here, but... The good news is we extract some more losses from them. So these units are absolutely gutted now, right? These three, these are just a few of the survivors that came out of Calcutta way back when. They're, they're basically gutted, but I want them completely destroyed. I want them 100% wiped out. So we're going to keep on it. Okay. A Japanese deliberate attack at Suva. I don't really have a lot of um, faith that this is going to go down in the first turn. I, that New Zealand Brigade is very tough. Uh, we'll see. I, I doubt it. Yep. Fort level 3. Jeez. Fort level 3? Hmm. Wow. That's going to take a while. Okay, well, I didn't think Suva would be up to Fort Level 3 by now, but apparently it is. However, um, we just take a lot of disablements. That's fine with me. I have a lot more to dis get disabled than he does. So, looks like we'll need another attack here. So, I lose about 37 AV. He loses 46. And he's down to a fort. Yeah, okay. We'll need a couple more days at Suva, but this is going. This is trending in the right direction for sure. Okay, little partisan cleanup activity on aisle. Aisle uh, 9242. And we push these guys into this hex over here. A bombardment attack here. That's pretty good. And a deliberate attack here, which doesn't look like it's going to be all that great. He had a little more AV here than I thought he would. Oh! I take it back! Looks like we're going to win there too. All right, we chase some Chinese troops back towards Changsha. Big deal. That's fine. Extracting a lot of losses from them in the meantime, however, which is good. And then we're bombarding here at Kungcheng. Trying to whittle these guys down as we get ready to attack there in a couple turns. Chipping away. And a shock attack at Tajilla Chap. I'm thinking we should be able to carry this. Yep. Hmm. Interesting retreat direction. I figured they would have gone straight for Bandung, but they went off in a weird direction. But that's fine. Alright. We'll have to give chase. No big deal. Okay. And this is just going to be some quick uh, cleanup out here. Okay. These are just some bases I'm capturing in the uh, DEI. Right, this is on Flores. Hello. 
And then that's us. Oh, man. I swear these guys are getting stronger. Man. It's going to be gnarly trying to take these guys out. Look at that. Well, all right. We know that he's doing just fine here. He has lost no AV at all. Allied shock attack. Oh, okay. This is a suicide right here. These two guys are dead. Or so it seems. They're almost dead. But this is actually better than them being dead. Because now, they're still alive here. But they're basically completely, completely trashed. So, what I can do here is just leave them there. And not attack them and let them sit. Because I... Or he'll probably keep attacking until they're dead. Whatever. No, I'm not going to attack him. Okay. Another base cleaned up. Alright. Um, I would say a bad day in the air in India. Which I was really worried about. This is good. I was worried about that. Um, but... I can replace those losses. We did have a good day on the ground in many other places. Okay, that's new. That's a new uh, destroyer in Hiroshima. All right, let's take a look at the damage. Yikes, those aircraft. Okay, let's take a look at the numbers for this turn. Aircraft losses today, really bad for us. 36 to his 23. We lost 24 zeros and Let's see, seven Oscar 1Cs for a total of 31 fighter aircraft. In exchange, we shot down, or it caused a loss of 20, uh, 22, 24 of his fighters. So I don't know that that's a great trade, but we'll talk about it in a second. Of those uh, aircraft lost, we lost... 14 KIA pilots and 8 wounded. Let's take a look at those wounded pilots to see how many of those we may be able to recover. So if we look at wounded pilots here. It looks like we have most of these guys coming back. Look, at th this is really good for me. I'm liking this. These are the guys that were shot down uh, from the Zero pilots near Bezwara. And a lot of them have a lot of experience here. And most all of them are getting back. So that's good. Um, these two guys here... I Ishida and Hiramoto let's go ahead and reassign them to the reserve and see if they're going to come back let's see Ishudu yes and Hiramoto yes so that's good okay so it wasn't too bad looks like almost all of our wounded pilots were going to re recover looking at the army loss points for this turn the allies lost 70 and we lost 1 ship sunk none reported uh, fortunately, we had no strap points today because the Klonkery mission was canceled again. For the turn, we gained 219 points, which brings us up to 2.816 win ratio, which is again our new high watermark. So this turn, despite the bad showing in the air, we have advanced our cause again and we're back in the green. Alright, so I want to talk about something real quick here. I've noticed... My videos are getting kind of long, and the viewership drops off substantially as we get into this part of the video. So I'm going to try a new format here, and I'd love to hear your opinion after you watch it. So basically what I'm going to do right now is 
stop showing the combat reporter stuff unless it's absolutely vital to what I'm discussing because a lot of it's kind of minutia, right? Uh, and then I'm going to pick three focus areas of the map to discuss in this part of the video and make it quick. I'm trying to expedite these videos to, you know, not lose a lot of people's attention. So um, we're going to talk about three areas today that I think are the most important on the map. And we're just going to forego the rest of it because unless it's something really important, we don't really need to discuss it. So we'll start here at Bezwada. So obviously he swept here today and uh, he came out of Hyderabad because there's no other way he could have done it. So I know he's got fighters in Bombay and Bhopal. So what he did was he forward located these for a quick strike and sent Hurricanes, P-38s, H-81s, which are basically P-40Bs and P-40Es to sweep Bezwada. And Bezwada, unfortunately, is just a size 1 airfield, right? Because I'm still trying to build it up. And the unfortunate reality here is that I just can't get enough aircraft in the air to defend against it. I had my aircraft located here in a posture to uh, combat four engine bombers because I expected an attack here but he's not actually doing that he's using the fighters now next turn I do expect B-17s to hit this base hard because he's probably thinking he's wiped out our fighter cover now which basically he has and I need to decide if it's worthwhile to continue fighting here uh, personally I, I need to think about it but the reason that I was doing that was because I am using Bezwada as my forward base, right? We're here, and eventually I want to take Madras and Hyderabad and all these other bases so I can isolate this part of India and kill all of this stuff over here. But this is as far as I can get. Unfortunately, it's a size 1 airfield, and I have to put something there, or so I thought. I had a long discussion with the guys on my Discord this over this turn already, and... Uh, the opinion is here that a size 1 airfield is just not viable to even defend at all. And what am I defending? I thought I was defending all these troops here, right? Um, you know, maybe I don't need to. Maybe the if they get bombed or something, it, it so what, right? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have been defending this at all. But regardless, um, we are trying to power project from here, and I thought I needed to defend it. So I'll have to reevaluate that stance because I just can't sustain those losses indefinitely. Temporarily I can, but the pilots are irreplaceable to me. Okay, um, the second area I want to look at is over here in this part of India, right? Um, so we're about to engage these troops here, and then we're going to drive towards Lido. But I just noticed this right here. This is a Chinese unit. What the heck is it doing this far up into India and where is he trying to go so that's something and now I'm taking a look here watch this little trick so I click on DACA and I hit the 5 key to show me where my supply paths are and you'll notice here there's a few supply paths that are um, not available right so we know um, this is not a supply path because it's a base that he owns we can't go through that yet we know he's got a Chinese unit here. And now, you see how there's no yellow dot here? There's other units in this hex. So I'm going to be sending my recon units to figure out what the heck this is. This might be a Chinese core or more. Why they're this far up into India at this point, I don't really know. But I can promise you this. They won't be going much further. We'll stop them and kill them all here. Yeah. All right, and the last area I want to uh, show you today is over in Australia where things aren't going so well. Um, so we had a canceled raid from Cooktown, right? Going into Quonkery where I'm trying to extract a little more points for the resources. He does have what I assume is an armored unit in, in cans with more units following up. And here's how I know. If I hit, F5, I hit 5 again on the keyboard, we can see here... Um, no supply path here and no supply path here so he's got units moving up from townsville which i expected anyway uh and now it's a race to get back into cooktown so i've got my units retreating up this road which unfortunately has taken a long time because you only move 15 miles a day on these uh roads and we're going to be harassed by this unit chasing us and i can probably leave one back to to defend as we as we move but i do need to get these troops out of here as soon as possible 
Yep, so there we go. We're slowly but surely, we're losing our foothold on in, on uh, Australia here. I was expecting this to not be a long-term hold, but I guess I had uh, bigger hopes for holding these bases a bit longer than I did. But um, I definitely don't want to stay in Australia indefinitely. I do have a lot of troops here that I need to start evacuating over time because I don't see it viable to defend Cooktown indefinitely. I do want to start pulling these troops back to Port Moresby, uh, other places in the, um, what is this, the Solomons, and maybe send some down this way. So that's definitely something we need to work on. But I have to do it carefully because he's got Navy ships out here, he's got submarines, he's got aircraft. Anyway, that's it for the turn. Uh, tell me what you think about these shorter videos, if you like it, if you like it the way I'm doing it focusing on just the important stuff or if you really want to see more if you want to see more i would recommend you maybe come to discord where i'll be happy to show you anything you want to see just ask me i'll put it up take screenshots and talk about it show you the tracker show you the combat reporter if that's what you want to see anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one